Hello everyone and welcome to First Encounter Assault Recon, otherwise known as Fear. Now I'm sure many of you watching this are already very very familiar with this game, but if you're not, this is a horror FPS that came out back in 2005, and with it, it brought a few revolutionary technologies as far as the way the game looks, lighting and shadows were really really sort of cutting edge at the time, the enemy AI was incredibly good. Uh, it is now starting to show its age a little bit, 14 years on, but it is still a very fun FPS to play, which is why I'm coming back to it for I think maybe the fourth or fifth time. So yeah, this is not going to be a blind playthrough by any means, I don't imagine I'm going to get surprised by a great deal playing through this, but I think I am going to have a great deal of fun killing a lot of bad guys, experiencing the slow-mo, holding the shotgun, blasting people's heads off, and if you're into that, let me know and I might turn this into a series, alright? Here we go, hope you enjoy it, single player campaign of fear. On high difficulty or extreme? Ooh, masochistic players only high. <laughs> Just high this time. Right, so yeah, we're playing as the point man. In 2002, the US Army formed a secret unit dedicated to combating paranormal threats to national security. The unit was named First Encounter Assault Recon. And I'm sure they had a good old giggle after coming up with that. Thank you, Senator. It's about origin. What happened? There was an uprising. Fettel has taken command of the prototypes. My God. We can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. Oh, all right, all right. Let me make a few calls. This wacko's name is Paxton Fettel. He's the key. If we contain him, we contain the situation. Fucker's got an appetite. I think he has an agenda. It's not just recreational. He's getting something out of it. Essential vitamins and nutrients? What's his story? Property of Armicam Technology Corporation. They're working on a military contract to develop an army of clones that respond to a psychic commander. Top secret, of course. Fettel is one of the commanders. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is why nobody takes us seriously. Military clones? <laughs> a full battalion of them. Highly trained and heavily armed. A battalion? 
What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Kill them all. Like I said, we put Fettel down and it's over. Fortunately, the whole point of the program is to give commanders first-hand knowledge of the battlefield without putting them in danger. That means we should be able to corner the bastard without having to wade through all those soldiers. How do we find him? Army came and planted a transmitter in his head. Should lead us right to him. That's awfully convenient. Assuming it does what it's supposed to. What about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? You're putting him in the field? Are you crazy? He just transferred in a week ago. You've seen his training results. His reflexes are totally off the charts. <laughs> I think he can handle himself. Yeah. Whatever, man. It's your call. Goddamn right it is. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Let's roll. Yeah, let's roll. I want to test out my reflexes. What's the first thing? You will be a god among men. <laughs> Some of this is so cheesy. I still love it, though. We've tracked Fettel to an abandoned building just up ahead. No sign of enemy activity on the satellite, but don't take any chances. Okay. Jankowski, you in position? Just say the word. All right, move it out. Right, so, yes. Investigate the area for signs of the, uh, the cannibalistic commander, Paxton Fettel. Let's go. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Condemned, actually, this beginning bit at least. Right, so, let's just get used to the controls again, shall we? So, jumping, crouching, slow-mo, that's the bar at the bottom, in the center. Um, there we go, so we can zoom in, shoot, okay, reloading. There is, there's melee, but there's different types of melee attacks as well. I think there's a, yep, there's a slide which is incredibly powerful, if I recall. And then there's this bicycle kick. That's it. Yeah, I want to definitely slide into someone because they'll go flying across the room and... Well, we'll see how powerful it is. Around here, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a very bloodthirsty and gory game, especially when I get that shotgun. Oh, I cannot wait. I maintain that it's actually the best shotgun in any FPS ever. It just feels so good. Hey bro, what took you so long? I don't know, shooting rats. Try to find a way around. Right, will do. I think what we need to do is go up those stairs there, but um, exploration is actually rewarded in this game with, you know, health packs or little... There you go, boosters! Right, so this is a health booster. There's reflex boosters as well. So this one increased my health by five, and I think the reflex booster will increase my slow-mo. I think the bar just gets a little bit longer. Can't go that way. Right. Uh, yeah, so we're not really in the game yet. This is just like a good tutorial. Okay. Yeah, pay attention to the top left of the screen. If you ever see like a signal incoming that says like uh, unknown origin, that's usually when the spooky stuff happens. Where did you bring me here? I don't know. Why'd you bring me back? Again, I don't know. I mean, I do, but I don't want to say anything. <laughs> hey! That wasn't me. <laughs> Not this time. Okay. Oh, wait for it. <laughs> yep. So, first time seeing this and seeing the lighting move in real time and the shadows actually sort of work in real time, I, I don't think I ever saw anything like it before in the past. Or if I did, it just wasn't to that quality. Hold on a sec. Come on. Roger, roger. You ready? Mm-hmm. Go! Yeah, you first. I'm just gonna stay here and watch you disintegrate. <laughs> you were born here, in this place. Oh yeah? Tell me more. I was there. Alright, oh that's the guy. The guy we saw a flash of. Jin, we need you up here. <laughs> On my way. Looks like we're too late, boss. Just leftovers. The transmitter signal's coming from nearby. Gotta be around there somewhere. 
I'll wait here for Jin. You take a look around. Right, so I think we're meant to go up here and see him. But not really. He's not really there. Yeah, some of this does look a little bit rough around the edges, doesn't it? Oh. oh got you the second time. <laughs> yeah. Um, some of this game looks great in the corridors and stuff. The outside sections. Uh, I don't know. They leave a lot to be desired now. But at the time, yeah, they look great. This was actually one of those games that you used to uh, test your graphics cards, you know? The benchmark tests. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. This is gonna hurt. The dead man's name was Charles Haberger. I remember him. But are the memories mine or hers? It makes no difference. He deserved to die. They all deserve to die. If you say so. Come in, over. What's going on? I've lost settled signal. Comcast is his dead mother. I do. Right. So, yeah, I had the perfect chance to take him out, but I didn't do it. I could have tried, but he still wouldn't have died. <laughs> Plus, if I did just by chance kill him, that means we won't play the next few chapters, and what do you I quite like this game. Man. Hey, back already? See anything? You guys about done up there? Our day's just getting started. You boys run along. I'll be busy here for a while. Right. of this op. They will be on point. Their mission is to assess the nature of the threat. Our job is to keep them alive. Do not engage the enemy. Remember that we are not dealing with ordinary bad guys. <laughs> Team 1 will move in from the southwest. Team 2 will approach from the north. Once our recon is complete, we'll rendezvous and wait for further orders. Okay, let's saddle up. Okay. And this is where the game really begins. So we've gone through the tutorial, we know all about the movement and stuff. Now let's start taking out these clones. Alright, yeah, let's get initiated, shall we, in Interval 2. Hey, hey, I I thought I was the point man. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> We're all the point men down here. We're on the ground. Copy that. Proceed the first objective. Right. Since you're on point, see if you can get this gate open. I'd send one of my boys, but I think we need a specialist for this one. Couldn't he have just dropped us on the other side of the gate? Oh, maybe there's too many boxes. Anyway, yeah, let's find the gate controls. And maybe a few other things around here. Uh probably up there, but... Oh, there you go. There's another one. That, I think, is going to be the reflex booster. Yep. That's right. So, I think the bar was extended a little bit there. It's going to come in pretty handy, especially on the harder difficulties. I remember where quite a few of them are, but I'm probably going to miss a few. Right. Not that way. Right. Oh, so this isn't, you know, this isn't the perfect test because the guy's not alive, but, um, let's see. That slide. Let's just see how powerful it is, shall we? <laughs> it's 
pretty fucking good. And yes, the physics, the ragdolls in this game are exquisite. Anyway. There we go. Right. Yep, yeah, I'm the point man, so I should be down there leading them. So let's go down. One powerful, scary little girl. Okay, rendezvous with Jankowski's team, because uh, my team <laughs> don't exist anymore. Sure. Okay. So yeah, um, I don't think Alma was the first of her kind, the scary little girls that are really powerful, but yeah, she, um, I don't know, I think Fear capitalized on that little trope with this game, really. She is going to be the source of most of the scares in this game. Through here. Just right. started shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he was gonna die anyway, but fucking hell, that rad girl, that's amazing. Right. So yeah, there's Lean as well. Let's see if I can sneak up on the guy. Just, the gunplay in this is amazing. It really is. I would actually recommend that you get this for yourself, play it yourself. It's just fun. It feels good to kill people. And I know I sound like a psycho saying that, but it's just really, really good. Right, okay, so this is our first med kit. So, I like the way the game deals with the health management. It's not regenerative or anything like that. We just have to pick up the medkits and then use them as we want them. It's quite, uh, quite old school now, really. <laughs> just want to see what's through there before I go in myself. So there's another medkit and... Was that it? Might be something else too. Right. Okay, so yeah, you can see at the right, that's where my medkits are. There's also grenades, there's, uh, you know, body armor and stuff, and loads and loads of guns to find. It's, uh, it's a fun game. Oh. Anything down there? I don't believe so, so let's head on over. Ah, oh, it wasn't quite as powerful as I was imagining, but still took him out in one hit. I know there's someone out there. Can I squeeze around there? No, I can't. Hang on. Thought I saw someone coming in. Right. Can't just be those two. These people come in threes, surely. Another pistol. Alright. Oh, do fuck. Dual wielding time, I guess. Alright, let's just go outside. I think it's probably a little bit safer than being stuck in a room and then getting pinned in. I think we're going over there to the left. Yeah, almost certain. Oh, shit. Yeah, the AI in this game is okay still. I, I don't think it really holds up to some of the modern games, but um, they do actually perform pretty intelligent strategies in groups sometimes. And sometimes they just get mowed down. But, you know, they do have moments of brilliance. I don't know if it's like accidental moments though, really. I thought I heard someone. Maybe I did from in there. Hmm. 
Okay. Wear proper safety equipment. That's right. That's why I've got my body armor. Right. I don't know if this game is still scary. I mean, to me, it's not really. There might be a couple of little surprises, but um, I don't know. I think if you're like a horror game veteran, this is this isn't great anymore. Oh. Oh god, there we go, right. Couple of grenades, thank you very much. They will detonate on impact with a live target, so yeah, if you can actually hit the enemy with them, fantastic. Although, uh, I'll tell you what, let's try it now. There you go. Slow-mo comes in pretty damn handy. Probably shouldn't have used it right then, actually, because I don't know how many uh, grenades I'm going to get near the beginning of the game. They are pretty good. Oh, bloody hell. No, you're not. You're going to be dead soon. Hmm, tell you what, I think I'm going to go through there, pick up that med kit and the body armor. Where the hell was he looking? <laughs> Come on, guys, don't let me down. I've been I've been talking about how good the enemy AI is. There we are. Oh, that's right, dual wielding. What was it? Beat it right. I, I don't know why. I just don't particularly care for the dual wielding. Maybe it just reminded me of using dual elites in Counter Strike, and I know they're not very good. So, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a giveaway there. It was over there, right? Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ragdolls. What we got, man? Anything good? There are occasionally going to be, like, telephone messages and stuff we can use on laptops. Okay. Ah, check it out. Uh, so I think... I think we can only carry three guns in this game, I'm not entirely sure about that, but yeah, this is kind of like the default for most of the game, this, uh, this assault rifle. <laughs> yeah, I might as well pick up another one. Right, yeah, there you go, there's a telephone message and a grenade. Oh, that's right, that's right! I know there's going to be someone running through that door soon enough. <laughs> right, so that's going to come along. That's going to go over there. That's going to form a bridge. But I'm just waiting for the ambush. I know it's going to happen. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Did I get them both? Oh, I didn't get everyone. Right. So I just realized that H is holster. And they just fucking threw a grenade at me! Bastard! Is that guy dead or not? What is that? Is that his gun? Oh, I don't know. Let's go over. <laughs> yeah, so when I tried to throw the grenade, my fat fingers hit both keys, so I just, like, holstered everything. That was really weird. Oh, there's his fucking leg! Oh, man, I thought that... Ah, oh, this is fantastic. I'm already having fun. Can I? Ah, oh, I can't help him out. Never mind. Never mind. Right. At the beginning, at least, there's a, a fairly healthy supply of body armor and stuff like that. Ammo. Uh, a few grenades here and there, I suppose. But most importantly, med kits. Near the end, uh, it gets a little scarcer, I believe. Oh, they're down there, aren't they? Right. 
I don't know precisely if this is how it works, but I think if you get the jump on someone, your first bullet will almost certainly kill them. After that, you'll need to just spray and pray and... I don't know, they become bullet sponges a little bit, even if you're getting headshots. Which is why the second and third guy just did not die. Right, let's go down and collect the ammo. Thank you very much. Okay. I want to say that there's maybe something hiding on one of these boxes. Oh dear. Right, I think that's probably where we're going, so just out of interest, is there something out here? Oh, that's just another way out, is it? Can't squeeze down there? Okay, yeah, sure. Hello? <laughs> you saying? Grenade out. Where? Damn it, I was getting shot. I was trying to shoot his grenade. It wasn't a very good throw anyway. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I think I'd probably pick the right difficulty. I might be dead if I went on the, uh, the hardest. Come on. Probably should be abusing slow-mo a little bit more, actually. Go for his legs. But I don't know if I can properly hit them. Right, there you go. Ah, shit, there he is. Okay. No one over there anymore? No. You know what? I think I might actually prefer this gun. Did I get him? I think I got him, finally. Right. Yeah. It's going to take me uh, a little while to get back in the groove. The uh, the controls are a little bit strange, and I, I did actually change them from the defaults. Maybe I'll have to have a little look at my mouse sensitivity settings and stuff to really get in the flow. Something around here? No. What about up there? Can I can I even jump up there? There's no ramp, no ladder. I don't think I can. Never mind, we'll go down there instead. Oh, nice jump! Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, so whoa. Another flash. Someone, someone. Fair all. Where are you? It's still sort of slow mo, and it's not me, so he's got to be around here still. Goes. Right, okay. Around here, maybe? Is someone, someone there? Oh, there you go. Again, exploration. Rewarded a little bit. 110 now, that's pretty good. <laughs> man, oh man. <laughs> oh. It's strange how much blood the skeletons still have on them. Really, if I wanted to, I could probably bicycle kick and slide kick my way around here and basically paint everything red. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, I think it's time to go. And meet with Alma. Right, yeah. Um, again, just like with Paxton, shooting is not worth it, so let's just get the fuck out. Through the window, I believe. Okay. Um, let's do one more. Yeah, let's do one more and then I'll think I'll end the video. And then I suppose I'll ask you if you want to see this as a series. He's alive. Should I call in a medevac? 
He doesn't appear to be injured, although I don't know how he survived. I'm just that good. Worry about that later. I'm reading Fennel's transmitter near that position. We gotta take that fucker out fast. Jen, keep looking for Jankowski. I'm still reading his life signs. You can't send him in alone. That's crazy. <laughs> he can take care of himself. Now move. Yes, I can. Right. Okay. Be careful in there. Will do. So, oh boy, <laughs> I think that's a van filled with more bad guys, more clones. Yeah, definitely not a covert op. I think we need to twist this bridge round, and I think we probably do it over there. So, let's head over, shall we? Nothing through here? Occasionally, there will be things on the other side of, uh, you know, barricades that you can sort of, like, reach through and grab, which is why I check them from time to time. Oh, there you go, another phone message. <laughs> Short and sweet. Right, so yeah, that's going to spin 90 degrees, and across we can go. Although, do we do that? Is there something down here? There might be something down there to collect, to find, to... Ah, 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 ah. Yes, there is. Can I just jump over? Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Another reflex booster. It's all going to come in very, very handy in the later stages, I think. Because although most of the bad guys, as they keep saying, uh, are clones, there are some more powerful clones. More well-equipped clones. So, yeah. And I have to say, usually, they have the shotguns. Or, I don't know, there's some weird, like, nail gun, which I'm really hoping to use again. I really, really do like this game. It might actually be one of my favourite FPSs. Mm-hmm, okay. Just a little bit of flickering and everything. Bit of interference. Bloody rat infestation down here. Right. There's little Alma. And there she isn't. Got another booster there. <laughs> That's right. Something down there might be worth it. Come on. Get him out of the way. Oh, no sound for you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how fast I kicked him. I actually sort of broke through this. Probably should have just hit him on the back of the head, but whatever. Let's go down and grab that med kit, shall we? Another grenade as well. Come on, repeated headshots. You must be dead. Yep, looks like it. And finally, some more body armor. Okay, yeah, a little bit there. Yeah, the MP5, I think, is a little bit better than this assault rifle, in my opinion. But they're both pretty good. 
movement. Oh, I thought I took care of you. Are you both dead? I don't know. One or two headshots just doesn't cut it on this difficulty, it seems. I think they're both dead, right. Uh, again, this might be an area where I can find one of those boosters of some sort. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to get through here. No, and there's no padlock to shoot, at least from this side, so we're going to have to go over there. But before that... Where is it? Down there. There you go. There you are. Reflex. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, if I find all the boosters, that bar is going to be very long by the end video. Assuming that you want to see this turned into a series anyway. There you are. Don't need to shoot the padlocks. Up we go. You might be wondering why I'm recording this at 720, by the way, instead of 1080. And actually, it's because the game... Well, it wasn't really meant for really high resolutions, and if I do play it at 1080 or above, the UI is insanely small and the subtitles are just, like, unreadable. It, it's really, really bizarre. I think there probably are fixes for that, maybe I'll look into them, but, um, yeah, at least in the default game. Doesn't seem to look that good. Oh, that was pretty good. All three. And there's not a fourth. Someone just said report. <laughs> I don't know who or where they came from, but they're around. Pretty sure I can destroy the, uh, the fire extinguishers as well. I think they're actually pretty good. They're a little bit like grenades. <laughs> Fucking. Okay, you know what? The game's just scared me. <laughs> For all the wrong reasons, but yeah, that gave me a bit of a jump. Man. Anything in here? Can we open this? Don't think so. Nothing? Okay. Just uh, a little bit more ammo. <laughs> you got a lot of facilities that just leave grenades lying around and all these really powerful guns. Ah! I don't know if I killed those two. Oh. Did that guy just trip or so Oh wait, did he climb the fence or something? Oh, he snuck under there. Sneaky bugger. I thought he just tripped up. Ah, screw it. I'll just use the, the dual elites, I suppose. Why not? Really need to find me one of those flashlight boosters. <laughs> it keeps just turning off. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm joking there. I'm pretty sure they don't exist. I wish they did though. Oh, here we go. The data's uploading now. Right. What's it about? I think I'm at max medkits now, actually. Didn't it say I can only hold 10? Right, let's see. <laughs> I just like smashing windows, what can I say? Right, so I can't pick that up. Can't pick that up either. Wow, there you go. I'm full. Actually, you know what? <laughs> uh, oh wait, no, I picked it up, didn't I? Fuck. <laughs> Probably a bit of a waste then, just using it for 2 HP. Alright, let's uh, let's go out, shall we? Let's hide, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be guys out here. Yeah. Pistols are actually pretty good. Oh, careful. Oh, 
come on. Oh, okay, I thought that was a really harsh hit, but it only did like one HP. <laughs> I think he's down. Good throw a grenade just to be sure. Ah, oh, let's see. Am I good? Come on. Oh, that was just not far enough. I got all these insane kicking skills, but I can't throw to save my life. I think you are maybe a little bit more accurate when you're in slow-mo. I'm not entirely sure about that. It kind of feels like it, though. <laughs> that guy gibbed! <laughs> Poor him. Okay. Lovely. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, so far, so good. I think this is actually one of those games you can just change the difficulty on the fly. So, if it does become too easy, maybe I'll, you know, go to masochistic levels. Let's see how it goes. Okay, come on then. All good so far. Alright. So yeah, a little bit of swimming in this game. I seem to remember this was really awkward. <laughs> Some of these animations do look a little bit rough around the edges, I think. At the time, they were great. Now, mm, could do better. Definitely could do better. Oh, there you go, there's another one. Nothing around there. Nope, not this time. Don't actually know if there's fall damage in this game or not. Oh, Alma. It was just a trick. Yeah, push that down. Well, it looked like that survived, so maybe I will too. Right. Oh, right, yeah, of course. <laughs> Getting hugged by the skeleton, right, right, yeah. Okay, uh, sure. Maybe that's gonna end it. So... No, but I found some human remains. Impossible to ID without lab work. That can't be him. His life signs are a little unusual, but he's definitely alive. He's gotta be around there somewhere. I'll keep looking. Me too. I'll keep looking too. So, yeah, let's see. Let's get out of this. And that guy over there is going to be the next guy I kill if you want to see a part two. So yeah, do I continue this as a series or not? Please let me know. I think it's still a great deal of fun to play, but is it still a great deal of fun to watch? Let me know, alright? Thanks for watching. Maybe see you next time. What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Kill them all. Like I said. Yeah, you first. I'm just going to stay here and watch you disintegrate. <laughs> hey, I, I thought I was the point man. Let's just see how powerful it is, shall we? <laughs> Come on, guys, don't let me down. I've been, I've been talking about how good the enemy AI is. <laughs> Bit of a giveaway there. What is that? Is that his gun? Oh, that's his fucking leg. Oh, man, I thought that... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All three? And there's not a fourth? Someone just said report. Oh, that was just not far enough! I got all these insane kicking skills, but I can't throw to save my life! <laughs> Getting hugged by the skeleton, right, right, yeah.